prophetic. It's a prophetic instrument for prophetic people. Amen? Amen. Anytime in the Bible you saw the shofar in the Bible said, blow the trumpet. They didn't have trumpet as we have it. Blow the trumpet in Zion, Zion, sound the alarm. The, trump, the shofar was blown at the closing of a season and the beginning of a new one. It was blown when the armies of God were readying to do warfare. It was blown when God released his angels to do the mighty work. What did they do around the walls of Jericho? They walked and when it was time, they blew the shofar and the walls came down. Amen. I'm going to do this. I don't know if we're going to have a chance to do this again. This might be the last time Hallelujah. I sound the shofar for 2019. Those who are listening and watching, get ready to shout and see every wall in your life come down. Get ready to see every enemy defeated. Get ready and know by the Spirit of God as this is blown, wherever you are, the angels of heaven have been commissioned to go forth. If you lose your voice while shouting, it's all right. Don't let your neighbor shout louder than you. Get ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. As prophetic people. Anybody here got a reason to praise it? Look how you spared us 
from that massive car crash. Look how you spared us from that boating accident. Look how you spared us from that gunshot wound. Look how you saved us from that thief that came to rob. Look at God. And on this day, the last Sunday of 2019, most of all, we're still in Jesus. High five someone to say, I'm still in the Lord. Look at someone else and say, I'm still serving Jesus. Through it all, I'm still in the house. Many people counted me out. Look at someone and say, they counted me out. But I'm still here. They, 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 they turned their backs on me. But I'm still here. Look at another neighbor. and said they thought I would be dead right now. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Look at someone and say they thought I lost my mind. But look at God. Hallelujah. Prophesy to your neighbor and say, I'm stronger than ever before. Say, I have more fire than ever before. I have more faith than ever before. I got more victory than ever before. I got a louder praise than ever before. I'm trusting my Jesus like never before they said I wouldn't have made it they thought I wouldn't have been here today but I'm still holding on look at your neighbor and prophesy and say I'm still holding on ah yeah somebody look up into the air look up into the sky and shout the 2020 get ready 2020 hear me and the Holy Ghost come Hear me and Jesus come. 2020, get ready for this manifestation of the glory of God in my life. 2020, get ready. See me move in power like never before. 2020, get ready to see miracles upon my life. 2020, devils you shake now, cause the Holy Ghost in me is coming to your neighborhood. Get ready, I'm coming with Holy Ghost power. I'm coming with Holy Ghost strength. Throw your head up and say, fail, I find you. In the name of Jesus, fair, I find you in Jesus' name. Poverty, I find you in 2020, in Jesus' name. Doubt, I find you doubt off of my life in Jesus' name. Favor, I call you in in 2020. In Jesus' name, glory of God, rest upon me, rest upon me, like never before, in 2020, glory of God, arise, take your place in my life and my family, in 2020, in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands if you believe that today. Oh my God. Oh God. The Bible says, speak those things which are not as if they were. I want you to take 60 more seconds. And whatever you need to prophesy, don't wait till the clock strike 12.01. Tell 2020 how it's going to be right now. I'm not going to wait till May of 2020. Speak nothing. I'm going to say it on December what the day is. 29th. I'm going to tell 2020 uh, what to be because I'm going to speak those things uh, which are not as if they were. Uh, there is power of life and death in the tongue. Uh, whatever you ask in Jesus' name, believing it shall be done. Uh, you have not because you ask not. Uh, but right now with your own mouth uh, in this prophetic atmosphere uh, under this glory that's over us. Uh, 
Go ahead and begin to speak uh, over your 2020. Uh, oh Lord, I speak it. Open your mouth. Uh, begin to prophesy. Uh, oh God, I speak favor. Uh, I speak increase. Uh, over my life, uh, I bind evil words spoken. Uh, I bind every death sentence. Uh, I bind every struggle, every battle. Uh, I cancel the work of darkness uh, over my life in 2020. Uh, over my family, I break the power of hell. Open your mouth. Uh, I recover what was lost in 2019. Everyone that owed me, you get ready to cough it up and pay back seven times that which was stolen. I bind the strong man of my life in 2019. I bind the seven evil spirits that work with the strong man. I bind the workers of darkness. I bind witches, warlocks, covens. I bind satanic armament. I bind satanic strategies. I bind evil curses. I bind evil utterances. I bind accusation. Allocation. I bind lying words, I bind fear and torment, I bind terminal illness, disease, sudden death. I hear the Holy Ghost, the Lord say, bind sudden death in 2020. I bind sudden death, I bind sudden death, I bind sudden death, I bind frustration, I bind delay. Somebody begin to bind delay. Everything that's due to me is going to come. I bind delay, I bind distraction, I bind the torrent, I bind demons, I bind dogs, I bind darkness, I bound, bind them up, and I drive every foul spirit sent by the devil, demons, the dungeons of hell. I cancel them now in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the favor of God. I release unstoppable favor. I release unstoppable glory upon my life and yours. Everyone listening and watching. I release it upon our ministry. The ministry God has called me to do. Say it. It shall come forth. My ministry shall come forth. My ministry will not be stopped, delayed, hindered, rejected. I bind rejection. Everyone and everything that rejected me in 2019. I cancel rejection. I cancel abandonment. I cancel torment. I cancel defeat. I cancel evil expectation. Oh God, say it. I cancel every evil expectation. Expectation for me to die. Expectation for me to be sick. Expectation for me to fail. Expectation for me to falter. Expectation for me to fall up. I buy evil expectation. I buy evil work. I buy evil ex I owe anticipation. Every anticipation of the enemy to see me falter, I die. I bind uh, backward movement. Come on, I hear the Lord say, bind backward movement. Uh, every spirit uh, that keeps dragging me back, uh, two steps forward, uh, three steps back. I bind that. Uh, I break out of that demonic cycle. Come on, bind demonic cycle. I'm going around in circles. Uh, I will enter into my promised land. Come on, say it. I will enter and enjoy the fruit of the promised land. Uh, I'm coming out of Egypt. Uh, I'm coming out of the desert. I'm coming out of the wilderness. And I'm going into my promised land. I speak it now. In fact, take one step forward and say, I enter now my prophetic promised land. Take one step forward and say, I enter my prophetic promised land. I enter my promises. That's it. Right now, by faith, I receive and I enter into the land of abundance. The land of milk, the land of honey, the land of abundance. Shout abundance, shout abundance, shout abundance, shout abundance. I get my abundance, I come out of lack. Oh my God, he became poor, so I may become rich. I let go of lack, I let go of lack, I let go of lack in Jesus' name. I'm sorry, we're not some old dead church. Eh? 
We've gone through too much. We know too much. We have too much wisdom to keep our mouth shut up and to suffer. Oh my God. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not going to suffer in 2020. If you bold and you strong enough, shout it with confidence and not fear. I shall not suffer. I shall not suffer. In 2020. In Jesus' name. Uh -huh. I'm not going to suffer. The devil is a liar. There's enough abundance in the Lord. I will not suffer. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel. He neither slumber nor sleep. He shall preserve my soul even forevermore. The Lord is my what? Shepherd. I shall not want. Shout to the Lord. I shall not want. In 2020. Hallelujah. Surely goodness and mercy. Somebody shout goodness and mercy begin to follow me from now. Come on, say it. Goodness and mercy begin to follow me from now. Every good thing, every good thing is following Every good thing, the word of God says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? I want to prophesy 365 days of goodness and mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Glory. In spirit. He says, surely prophet, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Say goodness, goodness. And, mercy. and mercy. Begin to follow me. Come now. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Come on, say it, say it, say it, say it. Goodness, goodness. And, mercy. and mercy. Begin to follow me. All the days of 2020. Come on, walk around and let goodness follow you. See, it's right behind you. Goodness and mercy is right behind you. Look around and see it. Huh? Look to your left and say, hi, goodness. Look to your right and say, hi, mercy. Uh-huh, you never heard that one before. Huh? Look to your left and say, hi, goodness. Look to your right and say, hi, mercy. Uh-huh, they're following you. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Oh. Look over your neighbor's left and say, Hi, goodness. Hi, goodness. Look over their right and say, Hi, mercy. Hi, mercy. Uh huh, they still there. Hi, yes. Glory. One more person, just to make sure you remember that when you leave this place today. Look at your neighbor and say, Hi, mercy. Hi, mercy. Hi, goodness. Hi, goodness. Hallelujah. My God. Oh, Jesus. You better take your seat. Let me share something of the word quickly because I'm in a prophetic atmosphere. Yes. Oh God, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. I feel the glory of God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, let's just get me one of those white chairs quickly. I'm going to just sit up here. Hallelujah, because I, I got to teach you something today. Bring the chair, man of God. I got to teach something. And, 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 and uh, hallelujah. Yeah, that's it. Put that right there. I'm going to teach you something in the word. Thank you, man. I'll just put that right there. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Put that there. Thank you, sir. Get your Bibles. Let me teach something so you all uh, don't say it. Just holler all day. Hallelujah. Because I can holler all day. Ooh, shalala. Ooh, la la. Ooh, la la. Ooh, la la. Father, in the name of Jesus, get your Bibles, get your books. Ooh, la la, la la la. Holy Ghost, say Holy Ghost, do it in my life, do it in my life, today, oh Jesus, do it, even as you're doing it, Lord, continue to do it upon your people, oh, there's a newness in this place, there's a fire, oh God, thank you for bringing us to this place, come on, pray with me, thank you for bringing us here, Lord, Thank you for 2019. Oh, glory to God. I just give you praise. Oh, Lord, we just glorify you. Mighty Savior. Now give us your grace and strength through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, I'm happy I came to the house of the Lord today. Oh, God. Only say it if you mean it. Hallelujah. I'm happy I came to the house of the Lord today. Amen. Oh, come on, huh? Now, 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 huh? Oh, God. Mighty God. Mm -hmm. Mighty God. 
Y'all pray for me. Amen. I will sit and teach something this morning. Amen. Turn your Bibles with me to Luke. This morning I want to talk about manifesting the power of God in you. Hallelujah. Touch it and say manifesting the power of God in your life. Luke chapter 17 verse 21. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God. Isn't he sweet? Yes. Ain't the Holy Ghost sweet? Yes. yes. Ain't the Holy Ghost sweet? Yes. Amen. He's sweet, hey. My God. Mm -hmm. Manifesting the kingdom of God. Let me tell you, uh, thank God for all of you, Shalewa, and I bring greetings to all of you. We thank you for an awesome 2019. Come on, give the Lord praise. praise, the Lord. praise and if I were to be quite honest, this yes. has been, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say something by faith and out of my spirit. I was sharing this, this week with my wife. This has been the best year yet. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm quiet on me, bro. I said this 2019 has been the best year yet for me. Amen. 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 And how you can say that, Pastor? Well, Amen. by the Holy Ghost, I say it. Hallelujah. Some of you ought to be saying that too. You're here in the house of God. You ought to be Ooh. showing. 2019 has been the best year for me. But look at your neighbor and say, I'm expecting 2020 to be even better. I'm expecting 2020 to be even better. You better say it. You all ain't say it. Say it loud and clear. I'm expecting. I'm expecting. That 2020. 2020. To be even better. To be even better. I'm so serious about that. This was a great year. My no storm and rains and water. Man, listen here. Don't worry about that. That's small things. Look at your feet. Man, I prayed this year like I've never prayed before. I worship like I never worship. I had more quality time with the Lord and family than ever before. How about you? Amen. We saw the goodness of God more than ever before. Didn't you see that at Grand Bahama? Amen. Didn't you see Amen. the outpouring of God's love and favor like Amen. never before? Yes. Amen. I ate more food over the last couple of months than I ate in a long time. Amen? Amen. I'm going to work that off in 2020. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, honey, that's right. Amen. Oh, Lord, we're going to work that off. Amen? Amen. We're going to work off all that free food we got. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Come on, Amen. hallelujah. 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 We're going we gonna, to we gonna celebrate. But guess what? 2020 is going to be even better. Amen. Because 2020 is a prophetic year. It's a year when God is going to show his power like never before. And we have to express the power of God in our lives. Amen? Amen. If you haven't done so as yet, you have two days, amen, to begin to develop your personal vision from the Lord. That's the hardest thing, but the easiest thing. Amen? amen. What do I mean? I want you to sit down. My wife and I, we're still doing it. We've been doing it for the last few weeks, just ironing out, Lord, what are you saying? What's the direction for the house of God? You see that we didn't have our 2020 theme up. Amen. Hallelujah Amen. for the ministry. Year of fruitfulness. Say it. Enjoying Amen. the abundance of the Lord. Manifesting clear kingdom vision for the generations to come. Amen. Amen. That's what we believe in God for. In 2020, we are, she has done her part. I'm finishing up the theme for every month for that. 2020. Hallelujah. I'm just about done. Hallelujah. What do I mean? Every month, whether you know it, you should see it on your bulletins. We have some here. Every month you'll see the theme for the month. And we teach around that. Amen? Amen. If the Lord moved prophetically, I still try to come back because God has given us a vision. And what is that vision? Uh, if you look over here, we are called to transform individuals into kingdom leaders who will reform all areas of society with kingdom principles, laws, mindset, and practices. That's this vision thing over here. Amen. So we call the train leaders. Amen. We ain't called to preach and holler at you. Now, if the Holy Ghost follow me in a prophetic anointing, we're going to holler, we're going to praise, because I know then we're in a prophetic atmosphere. Amen. But we call to sit you down, and we call to take you through the course of the Lord. Amen? Amen. From January to December, we have a whole curriculum Ooh. developed for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have a whole theme. We have topics. We have the scripture. 
you have to uh, we teach and preach and minister around that. Why? Because you got to teach the same man. Shout hallelujah. 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 If I holler too much, you ain't going to know how to teach that to the nations. Amen? Amen. But if I take time and show you, you know how to teach it to the nations. Why? Because uh, my wife and I are already teaching to the nations. Amen? Yes, Amen. We have this here. We're on three wonderful channels. Kingdom Inside Out of Canada that goes around the world. We're on that Tuesday and Thursdays. And we're on King, um, Dominion TV, aired every day. Monday to Friday, 8.30, Dominion TV. Amen. We come on right before Bill Winston. Amen. And then Kenny Copeland comes on after that. We're so delighted to be with those heavy hitters and with uh, Dr. Joseph Dutton and his family, all those men. We are um, Ron Carpenter and so many other key leaders yes, uh, in the body Amen. of Christ. And God chose us here. And I don't take it lightly. Amen? Amen. 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 We come on 8.30. By 9 o'clock, Dr. Bill Winston is on. And then Ken and Copeland Ministry comes on 9, 8, 10. And then the list goes on. We're on Power and Glory TV 24-7, seven, seven days of the week, teaching the nations around the world. Amen. Right from our studio here. And it's an honor. Before this, we were teaching on a ministry in uh, Florida. Preached the word for almost two, three years. So media ministry is nothing new to us. We've been doing this for many, many years. Yes, and we just started doing this Facebook Live for our right. local people. And so we've been teaching. Besides that, um, the Lord has blessed my wife and I. We've been traveling extensively. Amen. And we've been throughout Africa, from West Africa, East Africa, South Africa, all the way to Asia. Amen. We have people who we've taught and trained there person in person throughout the Caribbean the Bahamas Jamaica US personally in ministries so we, we want to empower our own people here amen, amen, amen. they're calling they're booking I have to tell them no we can't come amen we wait on the Holy Ghost leading amen? amen they're calling us from the Middle East every day when are you coming come and teach and minister there come to Nepal come to Bhutan come to Bangladesh come to, I can't say all the countries because of safety issues, come. We don't take that lightly, amen? Amen. We are honored to do that. So, we're expanding and we're stretching. So the next assignment for us to do, like we've done to other people, is to train and equip you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Take these messages, study them, learn them, hallelujah, add your peace to it, and teach the nations. Amen? Amen. What amazed my wife and I, and I always share this as I get into the scripture, I'm building this up to you, is that when we went to those places in Asia, and most of those places have two to three billion people, that's half the world population. Africa, China, India has more than half of the world's population. When we went there, some of the well-known teachers and preachers are not even in those places. They don't know them. So as we went from this country, as you see in the back there, from the south to the north, the east to the west, everywhere you see those purple dots, that's where we have leaders working extensively, calling us every day. We, these are people we laid hands on, prophesy, ordain, commission, and release. Amen? Amen. And they've gone on with the apostolic work. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So all of that to say, God gave me an insight many years ago to replicate the anointing in my life. I'm so glad I obeyed him. Amen. I would have been the most disappointed, frustrated man alive if I didn't do that. Since we've done that, it's been over 2,000 leaders we've laid hands on. Prophesy, ordain, commission, and release in the nations. This is no strange thing to us. Yes, if you want to see that, go on our Facebook, go on our website, you'll see the live things. Kingdom Apostolic Ministry. They're just some pictures. We have the rest all over. But you'll see a lot of them when we travel ordained. And uh, so, someone asked me the other day, how many ministries God has allowed you to birth and sent forth. And I had to stop mm -hmm. for a minute. I said, to be honest, I can't tell you. I don't even know. 
because the people we ordain are now ordaining, commissioning, and releasing others. So it's multiplying. Right from here. To God be the glory. Amen. So these moments that I'm teaching you these things, it's to multiply you. Say, Lord, multiply me. In 2020, by the end of 2020, if you don't have disciples, if you don't have people you have prayed with, if you don't have people who you led personally to the Lord, if you don't have people that you have personally raised up in God, you are not duplicating yourself. The Bible said, go ye into all the world and make what? Disciples. Say disciples. Disciples. I've sat under many wonderful men and women of God, many of them who have failed their assignment. Because after they've been in ministry 20 years, and they can't tell you places or persons they have discipled. They have members, but no disciples. I showed you the prophet. I went with the prophet right on this WhatsApp. And I showed him at least 10 groups that I we, we disciple the people in all those all around the world. Kingdom Apostolic Ministry, Mozambique. Kingdom Apostolic Ministry, Zimbabwe. Kingdom Apostolic Ministry, Southern Africa. Kingdom Apostolic Ministry, South Africa. Kingdom Apostolic Nepal, Bangladesh. Kingdom Apostolic, can't say some countries. Kingdom Apostolic Togo. Kingdom Apostolic Cameroon. Kingdom Apostolic Malawi. Kingdom Apostolic Namibia. Kingdom Apostolic Losito. Maramar, Mexico. We're discipling them every day. Because why? I'm called, the body of Christ is called to make disciples. Amen. I'm not called to make followers. Jesus said, follow me. Come unto me. Follow me as I follow Christ. I take you to follow Christ, not me. A lot of ministers, pastors, and leaders make people follow them. That's why they're not powerful. The people are not powerful, and they're not powerful. They haven't replicated themselves. Where are their sons and daughters in the ministry? Where is people they train how to pray and intercede and to do warfare? They got A lot of people are greedy. They want to carry the anointing themselves. Many people die carrying the anointing. Many people were heavily anointed. They died and they can't have, they don't, they can't show you three sons or daughters who's doing the same work and greater. Jesus said, What? Greater works. Say greater works. Who had the greater works in 2019? Do not let 2020 begin and end without you replicating the anointing on your life. I found a secret in the kingdom of God. The more I ordain, commission, release, support, encourage, push people, the greater the anointing of my life goes up. Amen. See, in the world, they say the more you save, the better you get. Some people have little knowledge. They won't keep that for them. Ah, how to grow their business, how to make money, how, how to teach, how to uh, trade. They hide the information. Because the world system says the more you know, the better you will be. Keep it to yourself. The kingdom of God says, the more you sow, the more you reap. It's better and more blessed to give than to what? Receive. Freely you have, freely you receive. Give. And you receive it back, right? That's why ministry stuff, I am happy to push people in ministry. I'm happy to get people to pray. I want more people preaching. I want to help establish more ministries. I want to get people understanding spiritual warfare and deliverance. I want more people studying the word, learning the um, principles of the word of God. That's the call of the apostle and the prophet, to make the people greater in God. But if you hold all the anointing, you won't be able to carry it, first of all. Because the anointing is too heavy and too great. You know, if you have too much anointing on you, I've seen people who carry too much anointing and they break them down. You're talking about the glory of God, you know. 
Your body and my body can express and carry the glory of God. That's why we come in here, we got to shout and praise. We got to give him back his glory. So in 2020, you must express and release the glory of God in your life. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, you have to do it. So Luke 18, let's go to verse 20, it says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. See, the kingdom of God doesn't come with the naked eye. That's why people who are not prophetic will think you're crazy. Amen. They think folk like us lost our mind. Why? Because we hear shouting and praising. They don't know what's going on. But in our spirit, we know the presence of the Lord is here. So Amen. we begin to praise. Yes. We begin to declare what we want in the atmosphere and to the heavens and to the spirit. And people say, why are you talking that stuff? We begin to prophesy and speak stuff over 2020. And people are like, what are y'all doing? Those who are not prophetic. Because why? We realize the kingdom of God comes not with what is seen. Say glory. 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 Sometimes we think it's in a big church with 5,000 people. The kingdom is. Sometimes it's in a small congregation with just 10 people. The power and the kingdom of God shows up greater. And touch, heal, baptize, and the Lord is more pleased sometimes in certain places yes. than others. Amen. 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 See, come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. See, we, we, we got to be more yes. spiritual in the kingdom of God, yes. man. Amen. Jesus said the kingdom doesn't come with outward observation. Yes. Amen. Amen. It doesn't come by what people think and feel God is in and God is doing. Sometimes when the crowd is going in a certain direction, Chances are, most of the time, that's not where God is going. Sometimes the Spirit of God, He just touches people who are open. I'd rather have five people who are open to the power of God than 500 who have mine somewhere else, 200 who ain't delivered, 100 who ain't saved, only 20 who really trying to halfway live for the Lord. Holy Spirit just drop a little drop of his anointing there. But in a place where people come together on one accord. Yes. And fight and believe in God for his touch and for his supernatural. He comes in and puts something in your life. You wouldn't even realize it till heaven what he put in you today. Amen. Jesus said, verse 21, neither shall they say low here or low there. For behold, the kingdom of God is what? Within you. Say within you. Within you. Where did Jesus say the kingdom of God is? Within, within, you. within who? You. Within where? Where is the kingdom? Where is the kingdom of God? Go in your Bible. Look this up, you who are listening and watching. Jesus said, now I didn't say it. He said this to his disciples. The same for the sinner. The sinner don't have the kingdom of God in them. Those who are lost does not have the kingdom of God in them. Only the disciples of Jesus Christ who have the Holy Spirit has the kingdom of God in them. Now, what does it mean to have the kingdom of God in you? Okay, now that's the question. What does it mean to have the kingdom of God in you? Let's go to Genesis. What are we talking about today? Expressing the kingdom of God is within you. Demonstrating the kingdom of God. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 26. What does it read? And God said, let us make what? Man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Say dominion. dominion. Now you are made in the image and likeness of God. That's why racism is the dumbest thing in the world. That's why I can't understand why churches around the world would be racist. How can you be church, have this Bible that says we all made in the image and likeness of God and hate a black man? Hate a white man. Hate an Indian. Hate a Chinese. Hate a Hispanic. And come to the house of God. I've been to South Africa a few times. 
and they built apartheid. Churches supported apartheid in South Africa. Their churches have been there that are still healing. They don't need a long time. Just read Genesis 1. And God made man in his image and likeness. That's all you need. So if you're white or you're colored, they call them in South Africa. Some of you are colored like you're a light-skinned one. Then you have the black. Then you have the light skin they call color. Then you have the Indian. Then you have the mix. Then you have the white. All kind of things. They divided each one of them based on color. Wow. And when we hit South Africa, it was so amazing. Oh, that's a wonderful place. We're scheduled to go there 2020. If you all want to go, get your passport and tickets and pray up. They, 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 they just got their independence a few years ago. Ma Mandela was just released in the 90s, eh? He came to the Bahamas. You're talking about less than 20 years ago, a nation is still healing from the damages of apartheid. Boy, it's amazing. You, you gotta understand. The mental slavery... People are free, but because church, it was a systemic attack. Say attack. attack. See, the devil didn't just say hate white, hate black, hate colors. They develop a system. They went to the courts. They went to the legal system. They went to the educational system. They went to the political system. They went through the church and religious system. They went through government. Every avenue of human operation, they went in and devised the strategy to oppress a whole people. You can understand this thing, man. You could go to South. You could go to Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia, Louisiana. You're talking about just in the 50s. Blacks were given the right to vote and to own. You're talking about in our generation. Say my generation. My generation. How in the world could you develop? And I thank God for the Church of Jesus Christ in the South and in South Africa, South USA, because a lot of them were in the fight, holding hands with Martin Luther King and holding hands with the Civil Rights Movement. But there were some Caucasian and white churches that have a theology that says blacks ain't equal to whites. That, that's, they still have that struggle now. Yes. Black church, white church, the Hispanic church, all these different... God didn't call no black church and no white church and no Hispanic church and no Asian church. He called the church! Amen. And I'm wondering, my God, did these people read Genesis chapter 1? As a medical doctor, I can see every human being is all the same. You all have one head. You notice that? For the most part. Two ear, two eye, one nose, one mouth. Don't mind the color of the skin, the same heart, two lungs, two kidneys. Some people have extra or less, but generally the rule is two. One stomach, one large colon, one small colon, two legs. Hair in your nose, hair over your eye, hair over your eyelashes, unless you pluck them all off. You could laugh at that, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and I sit back, like, this is so dumb. And I have a Hispanic patient, white patient, Middle Eastern patient, um, 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 European patient, Italian, British. Black, African, Native American, Indian, and all the bodies are the same. And I'm like, this is so dumb. But the devil set up an understanding, indoctrinated from a child. You ever go in the States? You ever go anywhere? You see children playing black, white, Hispanic. They have no identity of color, race, how much money you have, but you have or don't have. A 
But something happened by the time they're 12, 13, they begin to start to separate. You were black and I'm white. And by 21, you black, I'm white. And by in the 20s, they begin to go to two different worlds. The white go into a white America, and the black goes into black America. The Asians go into Asian America. That's in every place. It's beginning to be programmed. But when you have the kingdom of God, shout the kingdom of God. Kingdom of oh, that's why I love the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God has transformed my mind. I have no intimidation of you white, black, Chinese, oriental, rich, poor. It don't matter to me. In my spirit and in my mind, I have no inferiority mindset. That's what I want you to have in this year. When you kingdom, you look at any man, white, black, I have millionaires who I see. I have people who live on the street. They don't make a difference to me. Because in my spirit, I understand Genesis 1. God created man. Who created man? God. God. If you're black, who created you? God. If you're white, who created you? God. If you were born in the ghettos of Soweto, South Africa, who created you? God. If you were born in the cities or the slums of Delhi, India, who created you? God. If you were born in the jungles of the Amazon, South America, who created you? Oh, God. If you were born in a clapboard wooden house on an island nation in the Caribbean, who created you? Oh, God. Almighty God. That's why the devil hates people who have a kingdom mentality. When you have a kingdom mentality, race don't stop you. I was born, single parent mother, grandparents, eight other siblings, her and me, in a wooden house in two sharp corner. Some of you know about that, so. That's where I was born. Off Blue Hill Road. You know, what must be, I don't know what kind of house. Wooden house with wooden floor. And where my grandmother, my mother's mother and father lived was a stone throw rock away from where my father's mother and grandmother lived. That's all the bugger matter. <laughs> I love you. Love you, daddy. That's how close they were in the community. So here I am today. Amen. <laughs> I don't have to tell you the in-between story. And not until I must be about three or four, they moved from there into Golden Gates, another community where they got a little stone house, three bedroom, two baths, with the ten of us in there, Golden Gates, where they still stayed till they went to be with the Lord. The house is still there. My uncle is living in it now since my grandparents went to be with the Lord. My grandmother last, last year. See, the devil. See, see, see. Don't mind, don't mind how I look and act and think. That's why I walk with kingdom authority. I know my God. The people that know their God shall be what? Strong. And do what? Great exploits. See, you got to know your God, man. Ain't where I come from. It's where I go in. Look at your neighbor and say, ain't where I come from. It's where I go in. They call that area the ghetto now, eh? Yes, sir. That's the poor area. Two shop corner. Or McCullough corner. That's the ghetto. So I came from the ghetto. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let me talk to some of you now. From the ghetto to the world stage. From a single parent, mother, and siblings who have to raise me up to a global platform. 
That's why when you see me coming here hollering and shouting, I, I have not forgotten from whence I came. Look at your name and say, do not forget from whence you've come from. Some of you, all of you have your own story from where you were born and how you barely made it and how you all had to struggle. And, hey, look, but look at God. Look at you. Look at your name and say, you look good today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Every one of you have a story. Now our children, they might they might not have this story. They, they we struggle. They they growing up in luxury now. We paid the price. So they're gonna start off by saying, Boy, I grew up in a wooden house. They they can't say that. They didn't come out of that. No. So what am I saying? God made man, so I am not intimidated by not one man's soul in this face of earth God created. Neither should you be. And anyone who tries to intimidate you, control you, frighten you, is under witchcraft. Because if God made you in his image and likeness, who, if God be for you, who can be against you? If God loves you, who could hate you? If God bless you, who could curse you? But my God, if God curse you, he ain't a, I wouldn't tell you what someone would say. Not a something Monday, friend can help you. So God created man in his own image, and the image created he, him. Male and female created he, them. Man and woman, that's why sexism. We almost done. Woman can't preach. Who said that? Woman can't pray. God created man and woman in his image and likeness. That's why to oppress women is dumb. That's why I have my wife serving and doing everything to the forefront, you know. Why? In his image, he created what? Genesis 1 27. So God created man in his own image. Say image. image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So if you hate woman, you use, use a dummy. Now that goes two ways. If you was a man and you hate woman, because you're a homosexual, that's dumb. God created woman. For who? You. Don't be dumb. The one who creates you. Create someone for you. Now you want to tell him you want something else he created? You can't be in your right head. You can't be in your right Anyone who live an alternative to this, they ain't in their right head. And we know that's for a fact because they're under a demonic spirit that's controlling their flesh and their soul and their thinking because it makes no sense. God created man and woman. And he created man with a purpose and woman with a purpose. If he just needed one, he would have created one. But a woman has a womb to bring forth life. Two men can never bring forth life. That should tell you something wrong with that. God created a man with a certain organ and a woman with a certain organ. And they fit like key and lock. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You take the key and they put it in the lock and turn. He didn't put two keys together. <laughs> if you put two keys together, that don't make sense. The key for the lock, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when that, if it's the right key, it goes click and the door open it. Or click and the door close. Uh-huh, you better catch that. <laughs> he didn't create two locks. How the door can open if it's too long? <laughs> then they want to take hairpin and put in there to open it. You ever can't get a lock open? You put a, a screwdriver. That ain't gonna work. It might click it open, but they gonna hurt. Come on, shut up. Because <laughs> God didn't make it for that. God made woman. So if you don't like woman and use a man, something wrong with you. You you messed up. Go back to Genesis. Think on that. Don't tell me nothing other than that. If you use a woman and you can't stand man, go to Genesis. You have a problem with man, you need the Lord. Amen? Amen. The next thing is, don't be dumb. Use your wife to work with you. I talk about expressing the kingdom. I know where I'm going. You have a wife? Put your wife to the forefront. That's why some of these leaders, I always talk to my wife, I said, babe, this don't make sense. Anytime I do something, she learn. 
Anything I learn, she learn. Anything I do, she do. Anything I do, she do together. You guys do that with your wives. Don't, 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 don't be silly. It'll save you. You'll live longer too. Sometimes I don't feel like you go preach and pray. Go ahead. I ain't gonna bust up myself today. You go use some energy. Amen? Amen. And I come behind and help you out. I conserve some energy. Amen? Amen. You go, you go put some stuff up. I ain't gonna rest. You go cook today. You go pray. You do all night prayer today. You go to sleep, you pray. You you take the lead. Call those people and talk on my behalf and sort it out. Come back to me with the answer. I only want the answer. Don't come back. I only want the answer. What am I saying? God created woman in his image and likeness. What I mean, women? You have the same power of God in you. Come on, man. You have the same Holy Ghost as any man. That's why I don't understand why these women settle so much. You know, man, if you are a woman of God, if you're going to express your greatness, demand more. What do I mean? You single women, hallelujah, you demand more. I'm the express image of God. Don't come to me with this lowness. Amen. I'm bigger than that. You're a woman of God, expect more. I see some of these women running behind, running behind, running behind, man. Ah, in and out of church, and the man he married them, expect more, man. You got the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost. You can't see that's a betrayal that's leading you down the trail. Go find another man. God created man for you. That one ain't want you. Go find another. There's many others. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. God created. Some of these pastors, they don't let their wife do nothing. They, the wife sit down and have she big hat on. And, uh, I holler, my wife come up here, holler too. Hmm? When I go up, you going up too. Every time I go up, some man, they all the way up there, preaching, teaching, and their wife home, dragging slippers. The devil is a liar. Say, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I dress up, you dressing up too. Fuck, I just pick out the stuff. Where this? Pick that up. Uh huh. Stand up. What you wearing today? Let me match that up, God. You represent me? Yeah, man. Nice man. Dress up and you looking scrappy? Don't be fooled, man. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing that around the city. Man, go buy your wife one outfit. And I see a hair then, uh-uh, fix the hair. Go to the hairdresser. Mm-mm, call the hairdresser. Uh-huh. When I foot get nashy, I say, uh-uh, go get this foot massage. Go paint these toes. I responsible! I got to help a you man. You got to be responsible. Baby, God created you in his image and likeness, and so am I. We got to go up and represent his image together. Amen. God bless them. Say, God bless them. God, bless God didn't bless me and leave you. You a woman, you getting blessed as much as me. What I make is yours. What do you make is mine. Oh, I'm going to help some of y'all. That's how to express the kingdom of God in you. Baby, you pray and I'll go there and make the money. You might go to, you, you, you home, you pray my way through. Pray and send the clients to me. When I make it, I say, baby, that's how much you make. Hundred for you, hundred for me, baby. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You ain't getting all now. Some of the other man is giving the woman all the other money. That's your all also. You ain't got, I got to keep something for me. The devil is a liar. Mm-mm, that ain't how, no. I make 200, you take 100, I take in 100. Why? Because you got to pay tithe on yours, I got to pay tithe on tithe on how much I make. I got to buy myself, I got to go shave and get cut. I got to have a couple dollars on me, I got to pay a little bill here. You will, come on. If you got a 200 and I broke, and you have a dominion over me, that ain't good. No. <laughs> at the same time, when someone give you a couple dollars too, don't let these women jump stick on you. They take your 200, when they get their 150, they pocket it up and don't let you know. The devil is a liar in 2020! <laughs> you get one couple of dollars, tell me two. The same way I just bring it to the table. When you get your 20, your little 100 dollars, tell me two, babe, I got 100 dollars. Someone bless me with this. All right, give me my 50. <laughs> give me my 50. <laughs> Get some of y'all to get in trouble. Don't do this if you don't don't do this if your family don't run this way. I just give you ideas. That's how it went with me. 
you go get one lunch meal. Uh huh. Bring me a piece of chicken too. Uh huh. I go to Subway or something. I got one or two cookies. I gotta take one or two more. This is expressing the glory of God and the kingdom of God in your life. <laughs> and God bless them. Say bless them. Bless, bless them. them. Now let me tell you something. I'm a kingdom person. You're a kingdom. There's no way you can be under this type of ministry, teaching and the word, and not be blessed. I don't pray about riches. I don't pray about wealth. I just apply this word and it comes. Oh, help me, somebody. Bless the Lord. God blessed you. There's no way you can be poor, sick, and defeated in 2020 and beyond. Surely goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy. That means as you walk through your life expressing the goodness and the glory of God, goodness is supposed to come to you. Good things, good opportunities, good feeling, good health, whatever good things, goodness. And then mercy. In the course of your life, while you're serving the Lord, if you make one or two mistakes, he'll show you mercy. Amen. I told Amen. you many stories about mercy of God. Yes. I still under the mercy of God in many things. You under the mercy of Come on, can I get a witness? Yes. Yes. If God was to take his mercy away from you, you would see some stuff. This officer will lock your brain in here if he knows some of the stuff you and I did. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nothing bad, but it's just... If God was to move his mercy, they'll put cuffs on you right away. Say his mercy. His, his mercy. mercy. Uh-huh. So God blessed you, man. A time of hearing believers struggling. You are a believer, you're not supposed to struggle. Will times and challenging times come? Yes. But you're not supposed to struggle. Say, I will not struggle. In 2020. In 2020. Man, y'all better say it. Some of y'all are afraid to say it. I know you said this before and then two months later one bill lick you. Or trouble hits your home. I know. But you got to say this this time and mean it. Say, I, I will, be blessed will be blessed in 2020. In 2020. I will not struggle. I will not struggle. In 2020. In 2020. 2020. 2020. Let me tell you the purpose of blessing. The blessing is this. See, I study the word so it could bless me and I could bless other people. I go and I work, and God blesses me with clients and resources so I can bless myself, my family, the house of God, and God's people. Amen. See, that's, see, see? God gives seed to who? Sower. To who? Sower. Many of you are not in financial wealth because you're not sowers. He gives seed right. not to people who sow. He gives seed to people who are sowers. So I went to the back of that. I went to the sower's position. I said, Lord, tell you what. Let me make you a deal. If you continue to give me X, I, Z, A, B, C, I can keep sowing into all these different ministries and these different people. Okay, come on, help me. That's a lot. So I didn't say, God, um, boy, when I, wipe, when I make $100, I can give you $10. No, I went to God and I said, God, I will bless these 10 ministries. Give me $1,000 so I could give each one of them $100. I start from the end and came back. And God has never failed me one second of the day. Because he gives seed to who? The sower. The sower. You don't give seed to people who think about sowing. Desire to sow. I saw the big thing on TV where the, they, they, they had this big numbers guy. They were <laughs> giving out money. <laughs> they had a raffle or some games where they are giving out money. And they showed the camera in the crowd and they went to some people, what would you do with this 50,000 if you win? Oh, I can give to the children home. God, don't work like that. You ain't giving five dollars to them now. You really think you get fifty thousand dollars in your hand, you gonna give them a the devil is a liar. See, people always fool themselves. If you are not, oh, if I win the lotto, and I'm not telling you play no lotto you, because you ain't gonna win. You ain't gonna win. That's the desire they put in your heart to make you feel you're going to win. It's a one in a hundred and something million chance a person will win. The fantasy is 
I go win. You ain't go win. You could work and save a million dollars quicker than you have the chance of winning the lotto. You don't want to hear that, but that's all right. So they would say, how? What you do? Oh, I give to the children's home and I can help pay off my mother and my mortgage on this. Lies, 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 lies. You ain't helping your mom and pa now. You think you get 50000 Boy, by the time your wife won half of that, time your children come in one half of that, by the time you go to the bank and see how much you owe them and back and pay it off, by the time you say you get yourself a little car and bring it in, the money gone. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some people I know who got pension money. And by the time one but two finished, the money was gone. I'm talking about thousands of dollars. That's true. Every person I know around me who told me, who I know retired and got pension, 99% of them that spent them all the money. All the money. Because when the money comes, <laughs> when the money comes, right. when you find out this bill back to, that bill yes. back to, this back to, that back to, that back to, what am I saying? God blesses you to be a blessing. Go to the source. Some of you right now, say to the Lord, Lord, Lord I'm a sower. Lord, Lord, I'm going to sow into your kingdom like never before in 2020 in Jesus name one thing but God is if you say God I'm going to give a thousand dollars to so God is smart don't you know God is wise if he give you a thousand to sow the ministries that only represent 10% how much he can have to give you he got to give you 10,000 if you saw in a thousand. If you say, God, I will sow a thousand dollars, then he got to give you 10. That's Most of the time, that's how he deals with me. Mm -hmm. If I say, God, I won't do this, then he said, here, here you go, pay it out your tie. Now take another something and give you an offer. And guess what? Most of the time, it's 70, 80%. Left, he said, take it and do what you want to do. Isn't that a good God? Amen. Amen. That's Amen. blessed, man. God give you all 90%. Well, for us, I start off, I don't tell my wife and I know already. We start off with 70%. Just factor how much is 70, 80% of what God gives. Because tithe is a joke. Yeah, tithe is an Old Testament thing. In the New Testament, they give all they had. So I tithe and I match my tithe with my offering. Because tithe is what you owe God. But your giving is what brings the increase. Man, 2019, I tithe and I laugh at people when they talk about tithe. Tithe is what you owe God. That's just for God to rebuke the enemy and open the windows of heaven. Now, if you want something to trickle out, then you that's the next level is your level of giving. Say bless. bless. When I pay my tithe, God rebuked the enemy from me getting sick. I work around patients. People come with cold, flu, all kind of things. I work around that. Because I tithe and give and stay in prayer, God rebukes the flu. Come. Get away from him. That's a man of God. The angels stand next to you and say, get away, you cold, you cough. Get away, you infectious disease. And your food. He rebukes it from the food. He rebukes it from the water. Why? God said, that one there, they have an assignment for on, on their life. Come on, give God praise. Death God. come knocking. Angel of those, you better get your skin from here. He ain't finished his work yet. Yes. She is not done. That one is a faithful servant of the Lord. That one, in fact, that you at the door, she getting ready to get up to pray right now, 12 mid midnight to dry you to hell anyhow. Stay right there. <laughs> 6 a.m., day up again, praying, binding, canceling, rebuking. What am I saying? As you express the kingdom of God in your life, you will live. They that wait upon the Lord, say wait. wait. That word wait means to serve like a, a person in the, in, in the restaurant. Serve in hand and foot. They that wait upon the Lord. What's going to happen to those who wait upon the Lord? Mm -hmm. Wait don't mean they sit down there. I'm waiting on the Lord, child. 
Child, I waiting on the Lord. Uh -uh. They that wait upon the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. People always ask me, how do you go full time and practice? See, I cut back now over the last two years. <clears throat> two years before, I worked full time at the hospital, full time in private practice, full time pastoring, full time traveling, full time husband. And that's right, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't tired at all. In <laughs> fact, some people always have to run from me. <laughs> Come on, shout hallelujah! 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 <laughs> right, Otis? Huh? You gotta make them run! Yeah. Carrie! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Prophet! All the men say amen! amen. <laughs> I give some of you another know, secret. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew your strength. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that? <laughs> Renew your strength. Yes, <laughs> Some of you, you getting tired. You need to serve God a little bit more. Every time I preach and teach, I get new strength. After I finish preaching, I gotta drive around, do stuff for a couple of hours just to just to come down of that energy high. Amen. 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 You love triplets if she go and watch. They don't wait upon all this. I'm giving you a secret. When you come in here, shout and praise for one hour or two. Someone will be in trouble <laughs> in a good way. Shout hallelujah. And that's why I see a fan you shout. Come on, shout. Praise. I think she fooled. She knows the time. They that wait upon the Lord to do what? Renew their strength. Some people think, oh boy, you're serving God every minute. Their church having prayer. Every minute at church praying and worshiping and, and, and having prayer meeting. And y'all screaming and shouting like that. You can get tired. No man that gives you energy. Yeah. That's right. That's oh, it's right. time to preach and pray. Y'all evangelizing again. You go on a mission again. Look at the people who do mission and serve the Lord. Look how young and good they look. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Say, rise up. Rise Say, rise up. Rise up. When you serve the Lord, you rise up, boy. Jesus. Imagine, I always tell our sons and daughters in the gospel, you imagine two a little black boys call myself going into these places. People all learn. They don't see my skin color. They say, Father, Papa in the gospel, one was calling this time to hang him up. So many of them older than me, of different color, culture, race, nationality. I'm like, look at that. Look how God could raise you, a little black boy, single parent from the ghetto. When you wait on God, he raises you up. That's what wings like eagle mean. Rise you up and take you high. Eagles don't stay on the ground, they go high. Yes, Amen. They rise high. high. They up operate from high levels. Yes. They're not chickens. Yes. They're not buzzards. No. They rise up high. Rise up. And they can see. They mount yes. up like wings, like of what? Wings of what? Eagles. Eagles. Man, you have no choice when you serve God to be great, man. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know why I like putting this on this thing too? I like shocking some folk, you know? All those folk on Facebook, I wasn't doing it. Lord tell me this year do it. I enjoy doing it. I get to see those ones who counted me out, watch me. <laughs> hey, I love, I love it. All who peek in and watching to see what you're doing. I love broadcasting this. They can see every blessed thing Jesus is doing. Amen. I said, babe, pick out something nice. Why? He rises you up with wings like eagles. Amen. Amen. Those who had all those stories about you, they got to watch you. Even if they Amen. peek in and come off, they stood right there and catch them. <laughs> I catch them many times. You know, some of you know, that's right. <laughs> when my, my wife said one time, I can take some people. I said, no, leave them. Leave your enemies. Let them see how you look, y'all. Stay on. Stay. I, they're leaving everyone. Unless only that one who was a warlock came on sending some curse and called me and I'll do some curse to give him some power. I can click him and cut him off now he will learn how to unfriend him. The rest let him stay right there and see how God is mounting you up. 
those who know you come from a poor background, those who you know your mother and father wasn't married, those who know your failures, those who know your faults, those who know, keep them on! Let them see you as God mounts you. I have some teachers on, on my Facebook who told me I would never write. And I write in all kind of messages and sermons and books. I have some teachers who mock me, who never thought God would do anything in my life. I have some enemies. Who oh, I got to be their doctor now. <laughs> who didn't like me. Who didn't support me. There's some family members who abandoned me and I got to consult them and give them advice. God will mount you up. Just stay in God long enough. Touch your neighbor and say, stay in God long enough. Stay in God long enough. While they were laughing, I was praying. He got blah, 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 blah. They called me everything but the child of God. I was praying. They still called me that. I still pray. They called me everything but the child of God. I still worship him. They called me everything but the son of God. And while I home, I still in the word. Say, stay in the word. Stay in the word. God will mount you up. And then you're ready to go. You have your food to eat. Your last Sunday of yeah, this year. Huh? I know you're going. We're done. <laughs> I talk about mountain up though. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Amen. If you're around me, you cannot be less than great. Yes. Amen. I ain't going to allow it. That's why I push some of you. What I push you to do? Get in God. Amen. Get in prayer. Get in the word. Do deliverance. Yes. Be faithful to the house of God. Be on time. Be faithful. Why am I doing it? I try to get you to greatness. Because when God calls you prophet, you know what it is for us to take a 36-hour flight, go to these countries halfway around the world. You know what kind of discipline that takes? You got to get up early in the morning, fly into Lauderdale, fly from there 16 hours straight to Dubai. Stay in Dubai for six hours before you're connecting flight. Fly another 16 hours to where you're going. When you get down the ground, they pick you up and drive an hour distance in. Then they have a, you got to preach that night and lay hands on everyone by the hundreds. Then the next morning, your, your services just begin. And you got to go to every house, lay hands on every person, prophesy to everyone, the young and old. When you turn around, they come back on the night. Like, what is this? Like, this? This is the same person? You might be in a different country, but I know you. Don't play with me. They want they pull it on your anointing from God. Then you gotta leave there that day, catch one couple hours sleep, and 36 hours back to come home. And when I got home, the next way I gotta go to work at the hospital and see patients. This call of God ain't no joke, you know. So when I see people around here, oh I so busy, I laugh them. I laugh at them. They preach one sermon and they tired. Come on. You ain't preach yet. Try doing on two weeks straight of preaching and traveling and that. Then come back and work and and, and uh huh. And come back to preaching locally and doing everything else. So when I push on you, I know where I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you to a level where God can use you. Where I can say, hey, I'm not coming. I got a pastor. His name is Pastor Kerry. Take him in the war zone. And they pick you up, send your ticket, you go there, and they drive you five hours in the jungles, and you preach there for a week. Then you come back after a mosquito that bites you up. And you use outside toilet, and you eat on the ground. And you love God's people and see the signs, wonders, and miracles. And you come back with your faith renewed, bigger than your country. Yes. That's why you see me, I ain't on the level of these guys. I ain't in no competition with them. What I've seen and experienced with the two of us, I ain't in no competition with them. I don't need no preaching engagement from, these, from, from, from here, you know. If we really want to be gone, we can be gone six, seven, eight, nine months out of the year. Am I bragging? No, but I'm telling you the truth about God. So, my mindset, you see me here? Mount up with like wings, like you can say, mount up. Mount up. need a mount up. This just normal Christianity is over. Show me your fruit in the gospel. Next year, this time, bring a book.
out and say, man of God, see this book here, this full up with people who got saved under me. This full up with people who I disciple. This full up of miracles. How many people I laid hands on. You don't want to go to the hospital, how you can mount up? You don't want to lay hands on the sick, how you going to see the supernatural power of God? Lay hand on ten and five died. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Dying your business. He said, "Go lay hand on the sick and in you who tell if they live or die. If God uses you, and He said, okay, I can let this one live. Fine. If He said no, I taking them home. It's still you still gotta keep doing it. That's true. That's true. Show me the miracle about how many you cast devils out in twenty. I ain't got actually about twenty nineteen because if I called some of you know, not y'all in here, those who listen and watching, it only be one, two, three page of miracles." Happening in your life. <clears throat> How much sermons you preach for this year? How many books you wrote for this year? How many nights you spent all night prayer praying for your city and your nation? Show me the records. How many times you went into the schools and evangelized? When last did you leave this little rock and go to another place? And evangelize city by city, nation by nation, island by island. Come on, man. Amen. Christianity and y'all fake can't just be coming here and shouting and that's it. It got to be more than that. Amen. They shall renew our strength. Mount of wings like eagle. They shall run and not get what? Weary. <clears throat> Anytime you see Christians getting weary, it's because they're not serving God. Because when you serve God, a fire comes on you. You don't get tired. When you see people who backslid and left the faith, they stop working in the work of the Lord. They shall walk and shall not faint. As we close today, people of God, how to express the glory of God? One, the kingdom of God is in you. Two, the kingdom of God is in you because you are made in the image and likeness of God. Let me recap it. Three, <clears throat> male and female, you are made in this image. Not only his image, but his likeness. You know what likeness means? Whatever God can do, you're capable of doing. Amen. I need you to get your spirit. That's why Jesus said, Creator works shall you do. Jesus is so confident about the spirit of God and what he created in man. He said, you can do greater than what I did. I want to see you do greater than what I do and greater than what Jesus do. Amen. I really want to hear next year. I would love to hear some of you next year, next three, four, five years. Man, I being I gone to 70 nations. Amen. Amen. Man, I touching millions. Amen. Man, I on five television stations. What you talking about? And I can say, well, yeah, praise God. Go Amen. for it. Hallelujah. I can beat you the next year. Amen. Instead of going to the bar, boy, look here, I, I can put down five Heineken today. How much you can put down? I can put down seven, boy. That's what these young brothers talking about. How much liquor they could drink. Boy, I did ten shots. What? The other night, boy, I did twenty, boy. You can't touch me. That's what the dumbness they talking about. Boy, I smoked three joints. Boy, I deal up all the Christmas with like five gals, boy. What? You joking, boy? Why my boy deal with sex? He beat you, boy. He's a stud. That's the stupidness. That's what they're competing with. My competition is, boy, look here, I trying to get on, I trying to get into 10 nations. I was just talking to my wife. Boy, I trying to get into 10 nations next year. Extra. You prophesy some too. I didn't think about boy, how I can get in that nation. I'm saying, Lord, how I, I said, we talked about some books. I said, babes, man, I have manuscripts. I got to publish at least 10 books, 12 books next year. One every quarter. Me and you got a tie team. We have the material. We got to produce them. What are you planning? Take forbidden to think. What are you planning for 2020? You have the God likeness in you. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you and I. What are we doing with the Holy Ghost, man? What are we doing with all this power of God in us? What are we doing with the likeness of God? I can't overcome this sin. Man, you have the likeness of God in you. What could hold you down? Then lick up, man. Not lick it. Get out and go in Jesus' name. Fornication? <laughs> that 
that's a joke. You can't. I have the likeness of God in me. I can bring down God's likeness to a little piece. Huh? I can bring down the glory of God to a little piece and commit adultery and lose all of God's likeness and glory in my life for a little piece, 10 minutes. If it go that long. All women have the same thing. As a medical doctor, let me tell you, all women have the same thing. Let me help some of you know. And I was wondering, God, why adultery? I, I, this is what I used to keep me grounded. It's all the same thing. You know, it's a lie from the devil. It ain't no different. Every woman have the same thing. Ain't none better. This, that, the other. It is when you were married and you made a commitment to do it in God, God will bless that union and that relationship that you have a covenant, you have a love, you have a commitment to that one person. That's what makes it special. You try to, oh, but yeah, that's, what, that's why men who commit adultery and fornicate never satisfy. Because ain't no thing can satisfy you. They keep looking for this pot of gold. You know how they say there's a rainbow, there's a pot of gold, and they keep trying to find and they keep failing, so they got to go to the next one, to the next one, and the next one, keep finding out. It's the same blessed thing. The devil got them fooled. Some woman looking for something different. It's the same thing. Outside of the curse. So as we pray today, the greatness of God is needed in you. I commission you to rise up. I call you forth in the name of Jesus into your kingdom greatness. I call you not because of you. My life and your life is not your own. We are being crucified with Christ. It is not us that live, but Christ that lives in us. Christ demands you. The Lord Jesus Christ needs you. The body of Christ. The lost who are dying every day for God's sake needs us. I can't do church no more like this. I can't deal with a dead, impactful church, man. Show me the lives impact. Show me a city transformed because you and I are there. Show me the prayers that change the spiritual darkness of a city, of a community, of a neighborhood, of a family. Lift up your hands as we pray. The kingdom of God is in you and I. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have shared your word. Oh God. Begin to pray. The first prayer we're going to pray is prepare of repentance. Not that we did a sin. It's just the fact we didn't do what God told us to do in 2019. There's some people the Lord told you to pray for. There's some people the Lord told you to bless. There's some people God told you to give some clothes, some shoes to. There's some people God told you to go to their household and preach his word. There's some family members God told you a message for them to tell them, turn toward him. And because of fear, because of doubt, because of disbelief, you miss that season, you miss that opportunity, you miss that window period. And now they're in a bigger crisis because you didn't obey the Lord. Come on, let's repent. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent right now. Come on, even in 2019. I repent for when you spoke to me, Lord, and I didn't deliver what thus said the Lord to the church, to the people of God, to the family of God. I did not release the word of the Lord to the ministry, to the church, to my brother, to my sister in Christ, to my family member, to that person on the street, that person you told me to give a word to in the food store to encourage them, but I let them go. And they were expecting, they left that day waiting for a word. And you wanted to use me to bring that word to that person. I repent of it now in Jesus' name. In 2020, let's not be repenting like this over what God tells us to do, yeah? The next thing we're going to pray for. 
binding the spirit of fear that held us back. Everything God, every time God wants to use your life, you let fear hinder it. Let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I bind now that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Why? Lord, let me not be afraid of their faces. Say, Lord, let me not be afraid of their faces. Some of you are afraid to talk to politicians. Oh, they're so big to me. Ain't no politician. If the president, honorable president Trump come in here, I'll give him the word of the Lord. If the honorable prime minister come in this place, I'll give him the word of the Lord. If the commissioner police come here, I'll give him the word of the Lord, of the Lord tell me. If you're going to do what the Lord tell you to do, you're going to break that spirit of fear. Lord, I break that spirit of fear that held me back. I was worried about what people said. I break worry now in Jesus' name. Lift up your hand if you're serious about the Lord using you in 2020. Here it goes. I'm going to pray one prayer. It's going to release the power of God on your life. Are you ready? Yes. Everything in your life is going to shake up between now and January 1st. Everything in your life is going to shake to pieces. Everything that, the, the, that needs to shake off, God is shaking off. And everything you need to shake in you is coming upon you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you yes. ready for this prayer? This is a dangerous prayer. Yes. yes. This is a dangerous prayer. Yes. yes. Your sleep is going to be changed in 2020. Amen. Your prayer life, your worship Amen. life, yes. your finances, God is yes. going to say, give it to me. Amen. Your time, God is going to say, give it to me. Your marriage, God is going to say, give it to me. Your children, your home, Amen. your life, your job, your career, Amen. your future, your past, everything yes. you had in your lives God is going to shake up so we can come into alignment for his will and purpose. Are you ready? Say, oh Lord, here I am. I give you my life. I give you my life. I give you my life. Holy Ghost, baptize me with fire. Use me in 2020 like never before. Shake off the old things. Shake him the new things in my life for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come on, pray. Come on, thank you. Father, I thank you right now. Come on, I thank you. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, here is a people that is ready. Lord, I thank you that every hindrance to them going forth. Hallelujah. I break up poverty. I break up sickness. I break up diseases. I break up fear. I break up doubt. I break up procrastination of our lives. I break it in the name of Jesus, and I drive the spirit that holds your people back. I break off every addiction. Wave your hand. Lord God, break off every addiction. Come on, break it off. Break, 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 break. Break, break every addiction, every stronghold, every soulish tie. Come on, break it up. Lord, every illegal association, every witchcraft bewilderment, every enchantment against my life, uh, against my mind. I break, come on, break it up. Oh God, everything against your mind. Come on, break it. The troubling of your mind. Uh, hallelujah. Every illegal, illicit relationship uh, that you know God is saying break. The Lord said, I break it off you today. Uh, seeing that you don't have strength to break it up. Uh, I will deliver you from the strong man. I will deliver you from the strong enemy. Uh, the Lord said, I'm cleaning you up for not for your use only, but for my purpose. Uh, the Lord said, I'm changing your attitude. Come on, let the Lord change it. Uh, lift up your hand. Say, Lord, change my attitude. Uh, God, change my personality. Uh, conform me to Christ. And I speak that the confirmation of Christ be upon your life now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you have a gift, I want you to give a good end of year gift. Hi, I want to test your faith in the word. If you paid your tithe and offering, I want to challenge you to match it with you know, match your tithe with your offering today. And I want in 2020 to you to match your tithe with your offering every time. Give God a few months and see if he wouldn't turn your life around. I'm not telling you he can give what he can give you. I don't know what God can give you. You be faithful to what God called you to do. A car and house might be a joke to what he drops into your life. See, that's the thing. House and car is a joke. 
You obey God in giving, and the money you give goes into the work of ministry and touching lives. You don't know what God will do in your life. It might be a loved one that you've been praying to transform and save, and nothing could have worked. It'll save them. That's worth more than any money. Come on, give God praise. I want you to get a gift out of your hand. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for joining us today, those who are listening and watching, as you get your tithe and offering. If you want to give to this ministry, please give to this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Otis is going to collect that tithe and offering. As you do it, I want you to speak to your seed. I want you to speak a prophetic declaration of your seed. This is a seed you're sowing for 2020. And what I do in most churches, if you don't have something, ask your neighbor to give you something. If you don't have it, ask your neighbor to give you something, borrow something to give. Amen. Don't be ashamed. We want to give together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Watch night. Just a few announcements. Watch night. We come in here 6 o'clock, right? 6 o'clock on Tuesday. And we're going to be starting in uh, intercessory prayer by 6.30. We'll be in full stream by 8. God willing, we should be done. Why are we doing it? We want you home, resting, relaxing, and being with your family. Amen? Amen. You ain't going to be in the draft. It's a tradition. We didn't cross over in our spirit. Come on, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. We didn't cross over. We're going to be praying and giving the word of the Lord. On that night, we're going to be taking the Lord's Holy Communion. We're going to be having an anointing service. Bring your oils. We're going to anoint you and your oils. If you have prayer cloths, bring them. If you have prayer towels, bring them that night. If it's anyone who's lost and needs deliverance, bring them. Two hours, we're going to pray. We're going to be doing foot washing. As we serve, we're going to go into 2020 charged up like never before. Amen? Amen. On the first, I'm going to tell you now. Put that food away. Praise the Lord. Put that food away. Hallelujah. You know what we're doing. I told you. I'll tell you off air. But you're going to put that food away. Get ready. We're going to come and pray. Those who are listening and watching as partners, join us in January month of intense prayer and seeking the Lord and consecration unto the Lord. I want all of you to join us. If you go here, don't go here. It's not going to help your life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to push through this whole month of January. And we're going to come and prophesy and pray and minister no. every day. Amen. Midday and every evening for one hour. Say one hour. One, one hour. hour. Amen. What time? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, that's true. 6, 6, 8, 6 p.m., right? We're going to pray, pray, bring your prayer cards. We're going to lay out. And the doors are going to be open. When we leave, you can leave when you want. Some even to stay back. We're going to dig up some things in prayer. We're going to set some things in motion for 2020. Amen. Be a part of that. When we come out of that time of prayer and consecration, we're going to be praying for the lost. Every lost person in your family, write it in a book, write it on a piece of paper. We're going to lay their names up before the altar. Every community, every city, every nation, every country. I want every one of you to pick one country. That you're going to pray for intently. You can pray for others, but one you're going to be praying for. For those 21 to 30 days. Praying for that country. Not your own. Let's pray for another country. Find a world map and pray for a country that you believe in God to save and deliver. Amen? Amen. Then the rest of that, we're going to have the rest of the year line up. God bless you. Stretch your hand to want to see. Everyone is given. I feel someone need to give something extra. And you know I don't do this, but I feel something's going to break. Quickly do it. The Lord is touching tongue in your heart. Put in something extra. It's going to be a sacrifice. It's going to be something. But you need God to do a miracle in your family and in your life. You know, pastor don't do this. Apostle don't do this. So I don't do stuff for money. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, give a sacrificial gift today. That by the 1st of January, that miracle, maybe it's a salvation, maybe you believe in God for scholarship for someone, maybe you need a financial breakthrough, maybe you need a financial harvest, maybe you need a turnaround, you need an answer, you need someone who owes you to pay, some agency owes you back payment, this is your time. Put it in quickly, put it in quickly. Babe, give me something too. Put yours in and give me something, that's for me too. Come, come on, go on. Somebody, somebody, quickly, 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 quickly. Don't care what it is, get something. God wants to touch it. God wants to touch it under this atmosphere. 
I don't play around with money. I don't play around and say, God is going to do this and that. But he's stretching somebody quickly. Because when it's closed, it's closed. So I'm wrapping up. I'm having yours, put it in quickly. Come, come, quickly, 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 quickly. It's going to stretch you. It's going to stretch you. It's going to stretch you. Thank you. Let me pray a blessing. Stretch your hands to water, everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I sit here, as your servant and your son, the seed that you told your people to sow today, I declare every, come on, prophesy, I declare every resource of 2019 that didn't come into their hand, I declare it come forward before this year is out right now in the name of Jesus and let it spill into 2020 just from this one seed a seed of obedience even as Elijah told that woman give her last bread and her oil never run out I prophesy that over the seed now you believe that receive it even as that woman broke that alabaster box and the money, the oil, she took it and anointed on Jesus. I declare the oil never stops to run. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bless and sanctify now. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands to the Lord today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If you have believed, God bless you. Be released. Woman of God, who's this? You two together? The neighbor. Yes, stand up for me. That's fine, stand up. You understand English, right? Understand English? Stand right there, lift up your hands. Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been so rejected by your family. Your family has rejected you. But the Lord said, I love you and I'm healing you today. Because you're different, you've broken the family curse. Mm -hmm. There's some curses on the family. There's some things the family gets into. The Lord said, I want you to consecrate yourself under me, to me like never before. Amen? Amen. Amen. And the Lord said, there's some stuff your family gave you, even growing up. I see something in the bottle they wanted you to use. Some stuff you had to bathe in, some stuff you had to put on. God said, I want you to break that off you. In the name of Jesus, I want to set you free. From generations of curses, generations of sorcery, witchcraft, and breaking you because I want to use your life. Amen. You know the Lord. Yeah? Jesus Christ. Jesus dit pour moi. Jesus dit pour vous. Jesus dit pour moi. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus bon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know Jesus. How long? How long now? How long you live for Jay-Z? Long time. Yes. Say, Lord, I love you. Stretch your hand to water. Father, we break every attack of our life now. Fill it with your Holy Ghost. Merci, Jay. Merci, David. Merci, Jay-Z. Merci, Bon. Merci. Hallelujah. 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 Receive it down in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Just touch your bellies, everyone. We're about done. I'm just I'm just hearing the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire. Touch your stomach. Receive your fire. Receive the 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 fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire. 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 The fire. The Lord said, the fire of God is upon you all today. Everything that comes in your way in 2020, you just say, Lord, I release the fire of God on it. And the minute you say that, that thing is going to dissolve. 
Every attack that comes, you say, release the fire. The fire is going to burn it and consume it. Every door you need open, say, be open by fire in Jesus' name. Somebody shout it. Be open by fire in Jesus' name. The Lord God of fire. He's the Lord God of fire. He operates by fire. He's the all-consuming fire. Every enemy come your way. Say, be destroyed by fire. And it'll be done. I've given you a secret today. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Greet a few people in the Lord as we leave. God bless you. Those who are listening or watching, thank you for joining us again. In Jesus' name, you are welcome. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Stay tuned and follow us as we continue with the work of the Lord. God bless you, our listening audience. Uh, those who come to fellowship with us live and watching on television, may the blessing and the great peace of the Lord God Almighty overshadow you and I. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stay tuned. Amen. In Jesus' name. The rest of you, stay tuned. Watch night. Bring your family. Bring your children. Come early. They need a breakthrough. The Lord is dealing with me something heavily for hallelujah. Watch night service. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh.